how are you Taurus? How are you doing? I am the spiritual Barbie. Welcome back to my channel. Okay, so this is your message. <laughs> I just feel like doing these. Honestly, they're super short and it's a quarantine, so I'm not doing anything else. So yeah, I thought I'd do these. Anyways, um, so this card flips out like upright. <laughs> This card filled up all right, um, and you know, I just feel like it, just retreat, just retreat, you know, like if it's, if it really feels like ugh, to deal with, then just don't deal with it, just go back into your cocoon, go back into your cave, and just don't think about it, it's no point in thinking about it anyways, it, it's not gonna matter, it doesn't matter, all right, so we have the world, oh my Taurus, I really feel like you are ascending. And what it mainly is, is just, it's a culmination and a conclusion. The world is a beautiful fucking energy. It is such a, you really should celebrate every world moment that you step into because it really is like you get to the end of a tough road, a long road, a what the fuck road, and you get to the end of it and you're just, you just turn back. And you look back and you're like, wow, I did all that just to learn this. And wow, oh my God, was it worth it? Am I so glad that I did all that just to learn this? That's the message of the world. It's like, it definitely wasn't easy. <laughs> it definitely wasn't always sunshine. We have some snow in her hair. Okay, we have some snow here. So snow is like tough weather. You know, she's definitely got the snow right at the crown. So, you know, she's definitely not gonna forget that easy, you know what I mean? But it is what it is. It's the it's the it's a great it's a lesser evil, da da da, whatever. So she's ascended. And I feel like you guys through your knowledge, through this growth that you've attained, you just even if you don't know better yet, some of you guys may already know to retreat. Some of you guys, you may just need to know that you can retreat from this. You know, you don't have to do all that. You know what I'm trying to say? All right, so we have the Five of Pentacles and we have the Knight of Cups. So even if you are feeling shut out by someone or you're feeling like someone is not really there for you or there in your life, I feel like you're coming out of of thinking of that in that way underlying energy is the empress in this deck so I definitely feel like there is an abundance mentality that is growing in you um, definitely heavily abundant mentality that you're embodying but it's not just a mentality now it, you're gonna see it now outside of you because it's not just the way you think anymore it is just the way you are the world is like a conclusion you've taken all of that with you and so you will attract that. And it's just because of the way you are. And I feel like maybe someone's view of love, and honestly, the way I read tarot now is everybody in, around us that we, we interact with, especially those that trigger us in some way, they are a reflection of us in some way. They are reflecting back to us something in us. And I feel like there is a part of you that you know, doesn't always feel like you're worthy of love. And it kind of gets triggered by someone else kind of reacting in a way that it's not that they think that you're unworthy of love, but it's just that they're in, they have their own situation and then they react in a certain way. They do something, whatever it is. It doesn't have to be aggressive towards you, but it doesn't have to be not aggressive towards you. And to you, you look at it like, oh my God, I'm not worthy of love. But I feel like, hey, you know what? Boom, we're not gonna talk about nah, nah. Because this is a cycle that you're coming at the end of. You're done with. You're, you're probably at the point now where you're celebrating it, that you're done with it. So we don't even need to rehash that that much. But you just need to remember that, but baby, you just are, you're just, you're in that point right now where you're realizing that you always deserve love, but there was a time in your life where you felt like you didn't always deserve love. You know what I mean? And so that's just, you're just, it's like a wound. You know when you get a wound and it heals and it takes time? And sometimes it scabs over. And even if you even if you pick the scab, sometimes it's like it's healed, but it still is a wound. That's just kind of what's going on, but you're done. 
And so feel free to retreat. Whatever it is that you're retreating from, it will be there when you get back. I promise you, it will be there. It's not going anywhere. And that's what you're learning. All right, so, ooh, Oracle energy, we have this Moonstone, that's intense. That is talking about heightened intuition. Trust your intuition, especially as you ascend up and as you um, learn more about yourself and as you grow and evolve spiritually or evolve in any way, you get a, you get a boost. Your intuition grows or your, your, your heightened sense of self become more in tune with yourself. When you, when you embody the world and you get to a point in your life where you're the world, right? That is world consciousness. And as you complete that lesson, you grab a piece of that consciousness with you. And because of that, your your intuition as you know it will will just it ultimately always expands. The world is a number three, right? The 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 um, empress is a number three. So this is a this is an all around expansion, and in that expansion, you take with you what you learn with that. And I feel like for a lot of you guys. It's a sense of self and it's a sense of trust within yourself that comes from confidence, right? But this confidence that is growing inside of you or that has grown inside of you, it's also leading a lot of you guys to trust your gut more, which is a sign that your intuition is increasing, all right? And that whatever it is that you're feeling now is, is a good sign, it's a good indicator of what your intuition is really telling you. Be extra aware of your inner knowingness as it is trustworthy. So you can trust what it is that you're feeling or thinking. <clears throat> I feel like a lot of you guys, you know, you're definitely chill. The world is a very chill energy, it really is. It's You're hype at some points, but then you're also like, chill at other points it's just like it feels so good this world energy it really does you guys definitely have done a lot like yeah i went through a lot right now and it's just like just chill you know what i mean like just put your like what do you do like come on like you really you know better than that come on baby what are you doing all right so we have the seven of cups and we have the seven of pentacles okay so i genuinely just feel like sevens are about overcoming and that could definitely be an area of your life that you are experiencing or that you will soon be experiencing advancement in and you kind of have to wait with seven energy seven energy has to do a lot with time so you kind of have to wait and you kind of have to stand your ground that's another thing with seven energy it's about standing your ground it is vibrating under the chariot which is about standing your ground and getting to where you need to get to despite what's going on and i feel like there is a lot of patience that is needed whatever um and there is also some things that haven't really fully manifested into reality yet or some things that are kind of confusing but you don't have to deal with that right now and you see how the the this is why i love tarot interaction <clears throat> so look at how i don't know if you could see it sorry so look at how the this mouse or this hamster or I feel like it's a greyhound I probably I don't know look at how he is looking into the seven of cups he's looking into the confusion so what they're saying is you could just baby you could just you could just you could just turn right around and go right back into that cave you know what I mean you don't have to deal with that right now like that's gonna that's gonna show itself when it's ready you you fin you focus on celebrating and being hype as fuck because you completed the cycle and you came out of this sort of energy here taurus which i mean as a taurus i'm sure you definitely understand how much how bad this feels as a taurus i'm sure you would know how bad this feels but i'm sure this was not a good feeling and you come out of it so just enjoy it bask in it celebrate in it and don't worry about the stuff that hasn't come to pass yet all right, it's coming. You know it is. So just chill. Go back. Go back. All right. So that's what I have for you guys, Taurus. Thanks so much for joining. All right. Um, at the same time, I'm hyped for you because you're lit. <laughs> like you're lit. <laughs> um, but at the same time, it's just like you already know what's up. I feel like you didn't really. 
Taurus, you needed this reading, but just because you needed this reading to tell you that you don't need this reading. That's why I, that's why I feel like, <laughs> I think that's why I made this video is to let you know that you don't actually need this. That you already know what's up. So just to keep knowing what's up. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. Either way, I really appreciate it. Once again, I am the spiritual Barbie. Thank you so much for joining. Any other information you'd like to know about me is down below in the description bar. <laughs> Just click on the arrow pointing down or the title. Thank you so much for joining once again, and I'll see you next time. Boy, boy, Torment.